Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel and I am Krishan Dawara from Noya Dog. So today's video I will be talking about how to study for USMLE Step 1 from its ultimate first aid book. Okay, the first aid for USMLE Step 1 is known as the Bible. Okay, so today we will be discussing how to study, how to annotate, how to start, how to begin, everything else from this video. So buckle up and uh, keep following and press the like button if you like this video. and. Please, please don't forget to subscribe. So starting this video, the first and the most frequently asked question to me is that should we just study from first aid? Is first aid enough for step one? The answer to this question is both yes and no. Okay, so I'll explain you how. No, because the first aid comprises the summary and all the high yield information that you need to remember. And yes, why? Because all the subjects, all the information is given to you in the concise form and in just one whole book. Okay, so it is a very very great source for revision, for summarizing and everything. Now, you are telling yes and no both. So how should we do or not? The answer to this question is here. So before answering this question, I would like to tell you that before approaching to the USMLE resources, I strongly advise you strongly recommend it to at least finish the subject reading from your basic standard books or else you can watch the prior platter marrow dams anything you should just have a general knowledge general idea what actually is given in the subject rest all is just nothing you just need to have a basic idea of what is given in the subject without that you really can't jump into usml resources okay so uh, how to actually use the first aid See, uh, it, if you have seen my previous video about the USMLE resources, I have told you my go-to resource for USMLE was Boards and Beyond, Sketchy Medical, First Aid, UVAL and following else. Okay, so First Aid comprises of all the information given that you need to remember, but it is just given in a concise form. They haven't explained the concept. There is no proper explanation of concept, mechanism and anything. So in order to understand the thing that is given in the First Aid, you need to have video resources. And the best one that I recommend to you is the boards and beyond for all the subjects and particularly sketchy medical for microbio and physio for biochemistry. Alright, now I'll show you how to use that video resources and annotate the first aid. What you can do is you can use a highlighter to highlight the things that are given common in first aid and boards and beyond. Later on you can use a different color ink and then write on extra things that are given in boards and beyond and all those stuff where you need to revise and what is the most important, where is the contradictory and everything. That's it. And that was how you will be annotating the first aid book. At the end, the first aid should look like this, like totally torn, worn and uh, you did everything. Whatever I have told you in that annotating video, for example, how to highlight, how to write, whatever you need to write from the extra video resources. For example, this is the congenital heart topic and see the highlighted ones as I told you in the video that you need to be that is the same point in both first aid and both and beyond and all the extra points that I have written down with the green ink you can use any ink as I explained to you and then you need to write it down over here there are those extra points and those explanation of these images and diagrams and everything is gonna help you understand the concepts and that is why we are using the video resources or else anyone else could have mugged up this first aid and they would have cleared the exam but it's not actually like that step one test your concepts and basic mechanisms this is how my microbiology part is this is a viral microbiology and uh, this is all the viruses they have given here from the sketchy medical i have written down the sketchy's name in front of each and every microbe for example, in the Picorna virus, the sketchy name was the Picorna Animal Nursery. I have written that name and along with that highlighted whatever was given in the boards and beyond as well as common over here. And all the red ink were the extra points that you need to remember. Alright, you need to remember, you need to have a knowledge about it. Okay, that's what I will tell you how to use the first aid and how you can actually uh, master yourself up. So that's it guys, I will take your leave now and uh, this is what I wanted to share with you about how to use first aid, when to use first aid and how you should approach, how you should annotate and everything else. 
okay and along with this i am having my own guidance session the six month plan the strategy how to actually do all the resources in line wise and how to plan up your preparation and everything so uh, if you want to enroll for the guidance session you can dm me on instagram or you can mention down in the comment section in the youtube and uh, that's all for today's video and let me know in the comment what next you want to see for the usmle step one i will be making the video for the very next thing all right so good luck study well and take care bye bye